I'm gonna show you three super easy decor ideas that are all under $10. If your utensil drawer is a hot mess, you probably could use a utensil rack. This one I made for less than $8. So I'm starting with a two foot piece of one half inch by three inch wood. So I'm just gonna measure the halfway mark here on my wood, which will be about one and a half inches. Then I'm just gonna make a line across. Then I'm just gonna measure about three inches on center of all of my pipe straps. I got two different sizes, a bigger size and a smaller size. Okay, cool. Now once I've got that done, I can put the command strips on the back for mounting. These are so great because they'll easily come off your walls when it's time to take them off. And there you go. How cute is that? Plant racks are all the rage, but it turns out they can actually be kind of expensive. So I made this one for $8. I started out with a two and a half foot piece of wood like this. I've got four seven inch pieces, and then I've got three shelves, which are three inches by eight inches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn this over, and I'm going to just attach my first small piece using my trusty drill. Next, I'm gonna put my shelf in the middle here, and then I'll put in a second piece. And the shelf needs to fit right in the middle there, so I can take that out, turn it over, and then I'm gonna do the same thing again. Now I'm gonna measure the halfway mark of the shelves so that I can make sure that they're centered when I put them in. Once you've got your last screw in, it's time for your mounting hardware. And then some command strips at the bottom so that it's nice and stable, and you're good to go. I guarantee you, your plants are going to love it. Round things are all the rage right now, and these mirrors are so super cool and super easy. So this whole project cost me about $7. You're gonna need some birch logs. Out of one log, I was able to get three pieces. So basically, you mark it, you cut it using a handsaw, and then I have to make my slice down the center, and then I'm gonna just draw a line using the back of my saw. Now, I can get to sewing. But once you get it all sawed down, you're gonna have a slot about a half inch deep, and then about, I would say, an eighth of an inch wide. And then just carefully slide in one of your round mirrors. And that's it. Aren't those so chic? 